Today, we're going to go over a tiny ML application where we will use an Arduino and camera to detect whether someone is using a face mask. In module one, first we'll check our setup. All right, this is module one, just testing out the cam. You can see when it's not pointing at me, the LED is red. You can see the blue light flashes as it updates. And then pointing at me, turns green after a few seconds and it stays green as long as it's pointed at me and then if we rotate again to the wall it turns red back to me turns green so you just saw the Arduino and camera setup working in terms of using the Arduino professional provided version of the model. Now we're going to train our own version starting at a checkpoint of 960k steps and training it until we reach 1 million steps. Great, this is module 2. So turn screen when it sees me. It's red when it turn away. Turn screen again. Now that we have our own model that can detect whether or not a person is in the camera view or not, we're going to use transfer learning to make the model learn whether or not there is a face mask being worn by the person. To do this, we use training examples from Flickr of both positive examples of people with face masks and negative examples where they're not wearing face masks. Unfortunately, when we first did this, the model didn't work well at all. And looking at over the data set, I realized that I had curated a lot of groups of people and images of you know many people wearing face masks. I decided to then cut down on these examples and focus more on examples when it's only a single person wearing a face mask. Retraining on these new set of examples led to this scenario. Um, the lighting is super important. And even though right now it seems like the lighting is pretty well lit, it doesn't recognize my point on the face mask. You see that it stays red. But potentially when I increase the lighting a bit, it sometimes turns green. So there you see it. And then turns red again. Let's see if it goes back to green. So the model works only when I am in a really brightly lit setting and also when I'm wearing a purple surgical face mask and not when I'm in a normally lit setting or when wearing a white face mask. And to fix these issues, I went back and curated more images for the data set as well as cleaned old images. Here's a video clip of me showing the new and improved model and how exactly I improved the data set. All right, this is module three. I'm testing my latest model. You can see with my face mask on, it's recognized in green. I take it off, turns red, put it back on. turns green after a few seconds of updating um, and so before it would um, only register um, me with this face mask on or off if I had a like a really bright light shine on me um, and now as you can see I don't have this bright light um, so before I had this bright light but now I don't and it works um, the thing I changed was with the data set I collected um, a lot more mobile light pictures um, or like normal light pictures, um, as well as more Asian faces. I was thinking that perhaps um, my data set before was from Flickr, um, where there were a lot more um, kind of white or European faces. And I decided to create more um, hand-drawn Flickr images of Asian people. Let's also try um, 
this new white face mask that I got. Um, it didn't work. Um, the model didn't work before when I used this white face mask. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, so I think it, I have to point it directly at me, but it is registering the white face now. And then if I take it off, it's red. Great, so our new model is much better than our previous models at detecting face masks. Now let's see if we can trick it to make it think we're wearing a face mask, when in actuality, we're not wearing it properly. And then let's see when I take the face mask below my nose, it's red, but sometimes it's green as well. So we see that the model is confused when we try to trick it. To improve upon this, we can give even more adversary examples of cases where we're deliberately trying to trick it. However, Flickr doesn't have many good examples of these, and so that would be um, something to do with more resources um, and more time. Hopefully, tiny ML applications like these can help promote health and safety among the general public without having to sacrifice for privacy. Thank you so much for watching.